we're going to demonstrate a DIY activity for making your own device to safely observe the sun, called the sun funnel. This activity comes from the American Astronomical Society and nightwise.org. The sun funnel is a great way to observe the upcoming eclipse because it will create an enlarged and projected image that can be observed by a small group of people. And there's other cool things we can see with this as well. We can see sunspots, limb darkening, planetary transits. So once the eclipse is over, it's something you can still make use of in the future. Making it involves the use of a saw. So it's definitely something that needs to be assembled by an adult. Because we are dealing with concentrated sunlight, there is a potential risk to both your telescope and more importantly to your eyes. So there should always be an adult supervising anytime you use this sun funnel. So first you need a refractor telescope. Refractors use a lens rather than mirrors to amplify light. That's important because if you're using a Newtonian reflector or a catadioptric telescope that uses a mirror lens combination, it's actually possible to damage the holder for the secondary mirror. And we wanna avoid doing that. So this is the telescope that we used. Um, it's a Mead ETX 70 with a focal length of 350 millimeters. You're gonna to wanna to use an inexpensive 100% metal and glass eyepiece. If there's any plastic whatsoever uh, inside the eyepiece, it's actually possible to melt it. And needless to say, this is why it's very important to use caution when using the solar telescope because of that concentrated sunlight. You don't want any of that getting near your eye. You also need to find an eyepiece that has the correct focal length. So the focal length of the telescope combined with the focal length of the eyepiece and then the length of our sun funnel is going to give you the size of the projected image. Uh, and ideally, you want the image of the sun to basically fill the projecting area so that we can see as much detail as possible. An eyepiece with a shorter focal length will produce a larger image of the sun and an eyepiece with a longer focal length is going to give you a smaller image of the sun. We have listed here some good focal lengths uh, for various focal lengths of your telescope. Don't worry about getting the focal length of the eyepiece exactly right. Just aim to get an eyepiece that is within about 10% of the recommended focal length. Now that we've got the telescope equipment we need, it's time to go make our sun funnel. You'll need a 17 and 3 quarters inch by 5 inch by 5 inch large automotive funnel like this Blitz Hopkins Super Funnel part number 05034. You can find those for two to six dollars at your local hardware store. A large hose clamp, a small hose clamp, and an 8 inch by 8 inch or larger piece of projection material. You can order a sample pack online and this works really well. But we also found that you can use something as simple as a white shower curtain or a sheet of vellum. A handsaw, flathead screwdriver, ruler, scissors, and a sheet of sandpaper. Using the hacksaw, cut off the little flat tab off the wide end of the funnel. Measure 10 inches from the open end of the funnel using a ruler. Using the hacksaw, cut off the narrow end of the funnel, trying to make the cut as perpendicular to the axis of the funnel as possible. The diameter of this small opening should just about match the diameter of your eyepiece. Stand the funnel on its wide end and use the hacksaw to cut straight down across the middle of the narrow opening, making your cut about an inch or so deep. This will allow the eyepiece to fit in between the two pieces of plastic. You may need to make several such cuts in order to allow the eyepiece to fit inside the narrow end of the funnel. Now that we're done with the saw, we need to sand down both openings of the sun funnel. You'll probably have a lot of little bits of black plastic hanging around everything, so do your best to wipe those off of all the surfaces that you're using and off your sun funnel. Remove the rubber eye cut from your eyepiece and insert it into the narrow end of the funnel lens in, barrel out. Place the small hose clamp over the narrow end of the funnel and, using a screwdriver, tighten it around the funnel to securely hold the eyepiece. Place the rear screen projector or two layers of shower curtain over the wide end of the sun funnel. You might want to use a rubber band to help it stay down. Then place the large hose clamp over your projection material and, using the screwdriver, tighten it around the funnel to securely hold the screen. Gently pull down around all the loose edges of the material so that the screen ends up flat and taut over the funnel's wide opening. This is an iterative process you'll need to pull down on the material after each turn of the screw to keep it taut. 
So before you use your sun funnel, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's no scratches or holes in it because any light coming through from the sun is gonna be really bright and could potentially damage your eyes. Before you set up your telescope, you're gonna to wanna to remove or cover your telescope's finder scope or red dot finder, if you have one. Uh, the bright light from the sun could potentially melt the crosshairs and it could burn anything that could be positioned behind it. With your telescope not pointing at or near the sun, insert the sun funnel's eyepiece barrel into the one and a quarter inch eyepiece holder and secure it with thumb screws. Then go ahead and aim your telescope at the sun. How do you aim a telescope when you're not supposed to look through it and when you're supposed to keep the finder scope covered? Well, one solution is to watch your telescope's shadow on the ground and adjust the aim until the tube shadow is as small and round as you can get it. Then you'll be pretty certain that your scope is pointed right at the sun. Another solution is to add a special purpose sun finder that projects a shadow or spot of sunlight onto a target. There are several commercially available products that will do this. Or you can make one yourself. All you need is a short length of plastic tubing with a piece of scotch or magic tape stuck on the back end. This assembly is attached with a Velcro parallel to the telescope. When sunlight pours down the tube and fills the tape, the telescope is pointed at the sun. Once you're aligned with the sun, then you can make sure that your sun funnel is focusing properly on the screen and you can start enjoying looking at the sun. Thanks for watching. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash National Solar Observatory. On Twitter, our handle is at NatSolarObs. On Instagram, we're at National Solar Observatory. Happy observing and remember to stay safe.